everyone. I know there are lots of students who are attending me right now. In a way that today I'm talking about how to score 100% in the practical exam. And this is going to be especially useful for those who have missed some of the practicals or those who are actually getting nervous when they are attending the practical. So here I'm going to tell you what to do or what is to be done in the practical exam. This is a new practical, a new way, meaning in NEP, it's different than it used to be earlier. Like the first difference is that the, now the exam is of uh, 80 marks and it is for five hours. Earlier, botany exams used to be for three hours. So again, you know, your seniors are not able to help you, but I'm here to tell you that what all is going to come and how much attention is to be given to each question. So let's begin with your question paper now. So let's have a look at the question paper. <clears throat> you have mainly six questions which you have to attempt on your own. Uh, first is mitosis stages, then second is gene interactions and then genomic DNA isolation. So I hope you know already the all the questions which come in the exam. But I'm here to tell you the tricks and how to, uh, meaning the <coughs> pointers, how to manage your time and how to do best and come to the level of 100% uh, marks. So what my suggestion here is, is that you start with question number three, first of all. The moment you get your answer sheet, write down the requirements, the question number three, and write your requirements and submit the sheet for getting your requirements. So in the meantime, you get your requirements. You can try for the <coughs> question number four, which is what? which is use the given data to plot the standard curve for DNA extraction. Please notice here, you will be given the four DNA concentrations on the basis of which you will draw the uh, curve. And then you will have one sample concentration. Absorbance will be given to you. It's just a, because gradually it is converted to a theoretical experiment. You just have to plot that concentration and give us the answer for uh, the uh, the sample which we have given, what is the DNA uh, concentration in that. So this experiment you will be very easily able to do uh, while you are getting your requirements. Then, yeah, or some of you may could try gene interaction experiment like question number two here in this half an hour. Uh, you can work on any one of the ratios, but please mind you, uh, showing the calculation is very, very important here. Meaning you'll be given any one of the ratios and you need to show that you have worked out the ratio and it is for one mark. Meaning you just write here how many seeds you got, what is the color, phenotype and then show the calculation for ratio, how you reach to that ratio. And then after that, uh, you have to prepare the Punnett square that is for two marks and then writing the uh, genetic basis of that trait that genetic basis of inheritance is for two marks. So we don't expect you to write the hypothesis that was in honors, but for your BSc life sciences, I think writing the genetic basis of that thread will also get you full marks. And the point here is that you will get any one of these 12 is to three is to one ratio, or maybe nine is to three is to four or nine is to seven. And do you have to explain the genetic basis, write all genotypes, phenotypes. And I think this work also can be finished very comfortably in half an hour when your DNA, you are getting the requirements. So once you're done, that means what you have attempted, at least you have secured your five marks. And by now you would have got your requirements for your DNA extraction experiment. And if you have got them, then you start uh, uh, working with that and start the experiment. And uh, if you have worked on that already, you know that it has few steps where you get a break of 30 minutes or 20 minutes or it requires two hours. So if you're starting this at 11, at maybe uh, if your exam starts at nine and you are starting this experiment at 9.30 or 9.45, then uh, you easily can spend two hours here. So, but in the meantime, when you have 30 minutes interval twice in the experiment, what you can do is that in one thirty minute, you can finish the question number two or four, whichever you have uh, not done in your earlier tenure. And, in, and you can finish the, uh, any one of these which you have not done. But I, what I expect is that before your DNA experiment is done, you must have done all the uh, uh, question number two and question number four, that is DNA concentration. Two is for 
gene interactions so your 10 marks you've done already and you're working on your another 10 marks question and for this dna isolation from cauliflower what i like to tell you here is that it is not necessary that you will uh, get the dna meaning it might happen that you are spending all your time here and you don't get the dna at the end so what you are supposed to do for this one is that please in the meantime while running your experiment whenever you get 5 10 minutes write your principle that is for two marks that you can prepare from home and write write your uh, uh, procedure that as flow chart and that is for two marks principle is for three marks and procedure is for two marks so this five marks you can prepare for home and quickly write whenever you get time in between the practical observations please note observations is just for one mark and even if your observation is not right and because of some reason you don't get dna still you will get the marks if you show something and you will get marks the full marks for principle and procedure flow chart and same way you have two marks precautions so for these seven marks at least two marks uh, requirement you got in the beginning these seven marks you can write up in between these two hours when you are working on this experiment so your nine marks for this experiment is secured one mark for observation depends on your luck or sometimes but because you have done in the class you will be able to do but for those who have missed the class because this is a problem in the college that very many students sometimes they don't turn up for the class they straight come for the exam even then if you come prepared for this principal procedure observe uh, precautions etc you can secure your nine marks here so by now by these two hours you have you have done with uh with your uh, uh, and you are done with your three hours and you have attempted the question paper for 20 marks and 20 marks is still remaining for you to work so i would just suggest don't spend too much time on dna finish the protocol and show it to the examiner whatever you get in dna extraction right after that i think you can quickly start with mitosis and uh, some of you could uh, do the setup and uh, some of you will be expected to start with the spotting so i don't want to make this video very long but still i would again have an advice for mitosis in mitosis also it depends on your luck and your way that you actually get the stages so i think according to time distribution you can maximum afford to spend 30 minutes on mitosis so you try making good slides good staining and everything and try to get the stage but don't spend more than half an hour here and whatever stage you are supposed to show my uh, metaphase and anaphase and spend half an hour to get best slide make the drawing you are expected only to make the drawing here in your answer sheet make the drawing of whatever sheet you whatever stage you get call the examiner and show this and if you have spent your half an hour and still you are not getting good stages then call the examiner with whatever stage you have at least you will get the marks out of five you will get the marks for staining slide preparation and everything but it's my uh, general advice is that don't spend too much time on that it might happen that you spend all your time on that and you are not done with that <laughs> So this was about these first first four questions, and because it's getting longer, and I don't believe in uh, because I am just short of time at this stage, and I have to go for a meeting right now. What I do is I will come back any other time whenever I have five ten minutes from the class. Because right now also I am recording this from my car when I am going to the college. I have a meeting at ten thirty there. So, but I think in the meantime you can uh, uh, listen to me here, and then I'll come back tomorrow again tomorrow or today evening. for these setup questions which are going to come in the exam for these spottings and some of the viva questions that what you should prepare and how you should prepare and what you will be asked in the viva so i will sign off now but i i plan to uh, finish this in the next video about the setup about the spots and the viva questions also bye for then and i'll join you again maybe in the evening today thank you